Thank you, Daddy. today too? I'll be going to class to teach. How about you? I'll be going to learn. Uh, you must be Billy Madison. Yes, I am. Don't you think it's a little pathetic that just because of who your father is, you get to come to school all over again? Yes, I do. As long as you know. Well, all right. Don't you, Scotty? Hey, how you doing? Let's involve the class. Quiet down, my special people. I want you all to meet our new friend, Billy. Can everyone say hello to Billy? Hello, Billy! Hi. Billy is going to be sharing our fun and learning for the next two weeks. Billy is special just like each and every one of you. And what do we do to our special people? All right. Billy, why don't you take a seat right up front here? And we can start story time. You got a misshaped head. Thank you. <laughs> the Puppy Who Lost His Way by Chrissy Taylor. Mm -hmm. One fine morning, a puppy popped his puppy paws out of his puppy house. <laughs> this was no ordinary puppy. This puppy was the happiest puppy in the whole world. In fact, his name was Happy. <laughs> Happy looked through the bushes. I'll never let you get lost again, cried the little boy, who was so happy that he gave Happy a kiss on his wet little puppy nose. The end. Whoa, 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 Miss Lippy. The part of the story I don't like is that the little boy gave up looking for Happy after an hour. He didn't put posters up or anything. He just sat on the porch like a goon and waited. That little boy's got to think, you got a pet. You got a responsibility. If your dog is lost, you don't look for an hour and then call it quits. You get your ass out there and you find that fucking dog. 